x and end function i c. Let's just pull this down. And if, okay, there we go. Now to a very important function, the startup. So first off, let's read the IP. I actually, oh yeah, I did change the names. TCP listen to the address and port. Just lazy, so I'm gonna copy this. Copy the port. And we're good. So the server is now listening in at this IP and this port for the clients to interact. Yeah, I did call it server. Or did I leave it GUI? No, it's server. Uh, server. Uh, what did I do last time? Was it 16 or 16? Um, fatal. Error. Dun 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 dun. Um, unable to start the server. Change your settings and try again. Quickly copy this, change that to a one TCP close socket or server. Always remember to close the sockets and reset. Else While the server is running, you do not want to be able to change stuff or whatever. You'd first want to stop everything, close all connections, and then reopen everything so there aren't multiple connections open and it gets really buggy and crazy. So. Set state of IP I want to disable this. It will do this for IP port start and stop. Only stop will enable. Now I just don't know what I called it. Um, this button. Ah, 
let's call it stop. Yeah. So stop. Here we have port, put, port, and connect button. Okay, so then let's, let's just do stop, TCP close our server socket, reset some of the variables back to negative one, So if the server is disconnected, all the users get disconnected. Password admin password true um, well we actually haven't set a a box for password kind of forgot that so let's just add in a box here and a button like that. That is pretty sketchy. But I am not going out for looks right now. Set password and password. Right, you can't paste here. So password it is and we will go under styles and yes password alrighty let's go back down function Set admin password equals GUI CTRL read password and for set to be triggered, scroll back up. Copy this, put it right here, negative one, set, there we go. What do we have next? Ah, right, the reset. Ah, why do I keep doing of or
Okay. Uh, yeah, I did a small little mistake here. You have to have next. And, uh, <clears throat> because this is reset, we want to TCP shut down. And all these we want to do the reverse. So what we will do, push these back, make it look nice, is disable and all of these enable. All right. And very lastly, we have exit. Never to forget. Alright, and it looks like we are done here. So, this looks very good. Let's test it out. Um, we have a little something here. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> Give me a few seconds. Okay, uh, I've finally uh, found everything. Um, I just did some renaming both on the server side and client side. Um, I had something wrong with GUI on event mode. I must have typed something wrong, but it wasn't responding to my event clicks. So that was one problem I had. Uh, then stuff with the if and else and for and next and all that uh, got that fixed then for here I forgot to include GUI edit uh, for for this for the line count so yeah now everything is functional so let's start it server let's go over to our server connect our server is up and clients can now connect so Trickista has connected let's start up the second window using the name uh, cool man connect and as you can see I can see cool man has connected so this is my connection here's the server and here's the other person I type hey, hit enter, I see hey, this person says, sees hey, hi, and it works back. Cool man says hi. Now, also the time is displayed. That was that percent time that I was uh, constantly typing in. So this says we can actually pretty much leave out because it's just kind of cluttery and yeah so let's test out some of the commands that we have let's go back here and as you can see it's on top let's go over to server and check out the commands that we have so first off we have admin Dot admin. If I just hit enter, dot admin, incorrect admin password. We have to enter admin password. As you can see, this is a server response which only I saw. So the password is one two three four five. Trickus is now an admin. Everyone can see that. Next up, we have logout kick. Or before we do kick, let's do s stats. Two users online, Trickista and Coolman. All right. So far, so good. Dot IP Coolman. Coolman's IP is 192.168.1.6. Then we can dot kick cool man. You have been disconnected from the server. 
we could always we could also say instead of you have been disconnected from the server you have been kicked off the server connect okay coolman has reconnected so you could reconnect again if you get kicked off the server let's do ban coolman Hmm. Interesting. Your IP is banned. So, it looks like I've banned myself, the admin, and the user I wanted to ban. Um, that's not correct. That is not correct so if we go over to server we have banned we have oh I know why I'm all running on the same net mask so that's why I'm banned okay it makes it, it makes sense see Usually this would be a different IP address, but in this case it's for both users because I'm running this on the same computer. So let me change this to 5. Save. And this is on the server side, so no one else can see this. So let me connect again. Let's say this is user 5. And it looks like we actually have an error. Hmm. Not so good. Not so good at all. Okay, here. Unable to connect to server, change your settings, and, and try again. Well, okay. So... <coughs> <coughs> Let's open a few few of these. Just for demonstration. Um, right. Okay, so these users have all connected. And as we can see, this is working perfect. So, oh yeah, and when disconnects, everything disconnects and I am no longer an admin someone else can take over alright so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial con rate subscribe if you have any questions uh, these files will be in the description but I do hope you look through it uh, play around with it and improve it to the best that you can do. Thanks for watching.